Hey y'all. Uh, so I just wanted to give you an update uh, after my meeting with the lawyer. And that was like a couple of weeks ago and I, I'm i horrible at putting up weekly videos, y'all. And I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, anyway, oh, also I got a new ring light for doing videos and um, but it glares horribly on my glasses. So I thought, hey, why do I have to wear my glasses in the video? I'll just put them on top of my head because y'all just have to see me. I don't have to see y'all. So there you go. <laughs> um, okay, so the meeting with the lawyer, it wasn't great, but it wasn't bad either. For, for over eight years, every time I've talked with a lawyer, an immigration lawyer, um, they have told us there's no point. Uh, all you can do right now is just basically be good, follow the rules. If you can, you know, you have your own business or you have different things to show that he's established here. If you can show, um, you know, look, you're not dependent on the government, no government, you know, welfare and things like that. Um, you know, if you could show that he's an asset, you know, over here and that your family needs him and that basically he's, you know, trying to live the American dream and do what he's supposed to do. Just do like all of us are supposed to do. So that's what we've done. We started our own business. Um, we own it 50, 50 in LLC. Uh, well, technically it's 51% and 49% because we wanted it to be a woman owned business. <laughs> so I own 51% of it. He owns 49%, but it is a legitimate LLC. It's a legitimate business that we own. Uh, we followed all the rules. We've, uh, you know, we're not on, here's the thing. If anybody <laughs> should be on, on food stamps and welfare and any kind of government assistance right now, like I would totally qualify. <laughs> I would totally qualify and uh you know i'm a single mom raising three kids right now and uh the the majority of my income uh i lost when my husband got deported and so um <laughs> the government wouldn't let him get his papers would not allow us to apply for his papers yet the government still wanted his taxes um but then the government <laughs> doesn't want us on any kind of welfare or anything but yet they take the 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 main breadwinner away putting us like in a very difficult position but I'm still not on it and I refuse unless it is absolutely necessary I, I really am trying to stay off of welfare or food stamps or any you know anything like that now if you're on it good for you. Uh, you know, I'm not good for you. I mean, sorry, I didn't mean to say that. If you're on it, um, you know, there's a lot of people that legitimately need it. And, uh, I don't, I don't condemn you or anything like that. Now there's some people that are on, on government assistance. My taxes pay for, for people, you know, that are abusing the system. Um, if you're abusing the system, you shouldn't be on it, but I'm not talking about those people. I'm talking about the people who really need it. I'm glad it's there for you. Um, and there's no condemnation for being on it if you really need it. Um, like I said, technically I would qualify, but I'm trying really hard not, not to have to, to depend on the government. And, um, anyway, so <laughs> what, what she said, um, you know, she said, well, the fact that he hasn't come back yet illegally, um, that's a good thing. Um, and believe me, there's been opportunity and there have been offers and it has been really tempting sometimes when I've got people, really good friends saying, hey, whatever it costs, we'll pay. Hey, here's, you know, a few thousand dollars put towards get them back over here, you know, because you know how our government is. If they wouldn't let them have papers, wouldn't even let them apply while he was here. <laughs> Why are they going to bring them back? Um, it's been very, very tempting to accept the offers to get them back over here for me and Bird both, but uh, we don't believe that's the right thing. And even though I am married to an undocumented immigrant, it does not mean that we support Ill illegal immigration. I mean, I want, I want people to understand that. People think that, oh, well, if you're married to a Mexican or if you're whatever, like, I, we don't support illegal immigration. We don't. Um, but I will tell you right now, people themselves are not illegal. So I don't call my husband illegal because he's not, him as a person is not. If a person, American, Chinese, Mexican, whatever, if they go commit a crime, let's say they murder somebody, do you call that person illegal? No, they did something illegal. My husband did something illegal, but he as a person is not. 
Okay. Okay. So I'm I'm on my way home and uh, listening to my video before I edit it, and I just want to interject something here real quick. Um, yes, I pulled over on the side of the road. I'm not driving, actively driving at the moment. Uh, when I say that we support or we don't support illegal immigration, I just want to clarify that real quick, okay? Because I know I'm going to get some negative comments about that. Oh, you don't support it. Oh, now that he's over, you know, got over here. Whatever. Look. I support the people. We support the people. But we don't support illegal immigration as a whole. And we want it to continue. I don't want it to con continue, neither does my husband. What we want is immigration reform. We need to have a change in our system. There's so many people that don't understand this, and they say, well, why didn't they just do it legally? Why didn't they just do it the right way? Well, because there wasn't an option, that's why. Most people, most immigrants who are here undocumented, they're good people, they are hardworking people, and they just didn't have enough money, or they didn't have enough status, or they didn't own property, or something like that, and they were not able to come over here, or they don't technically qualify as a refugee, but, you know, <laughs> it's not as simple as, uh, as hey, go, go fill out this application and pay some money. It's not that simple. If it were that simple, I promise you millions more people would do that. It's not that simple. It's not for, for most people who come here illegally, um, especially people like my husband. I mean, most of them, there there is, there's no other option. That's it. That or just stay home and not come over here. But if they want to come over here, the way the system is set up is the only way they can enter is illegally. And it's not because they're bad people, okay? I don't. Want, I know people are going to say, "Oh, well, if they can, we won't let them in, then they must be horrible people." No, no, that's not. They don't. They don't meet the qualifications. We want people with money and people with status to come over here and things like that. Some poor boy from the jungle with no connections over here. He didn't have a chance, okay? So I don't support illegal immigration as far as it should con con should continue. But uh, something needs to change, and I understand it. Just because it's a law does not mean it's right. Just because it is, it's a law, or it's legal, or it's illegal, or whatever, does not make it just or unjust. Look at slavery in the United States. 200 years ago, it was illegal for me to help a runaway slave. Or, I mean, if I was back then. You get what I'm saying. It was illegal to help a runaway slave. Did that make it right? No. What was the right thing to do? Okay, so just because it's a law or not a law, that doesn't determine whether it's moral or just. So anyway, I just wanted to inject that uh, in, in, or in, inject it, interject it, in, in, insert, whatever. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of the video. I don't know what just happened. I don't have my glasses on, so I can't see. <laughs> okay, I don't have my glasses on, so I can't say. I don't know what just happened. It just cut off or something. But anyway. Okay, so we don't support illegal immigration, but we do support families. And and people need to stop looking at at undocumented immigrants like my husband and families like ours. Look, I'm people forget I'm an American citizen. My children are American citizens and, and we have certain rights. Oh, I'm so sorry. The first stimulus check, if anybody needed a stimulus check, it was me. And uh, my husband paid his taxes every year that he was here. We filed taxes. We did everything correct. Um, he had a government-issued tax ID number called an I-10 number or an I-10. And he would file his taxes and he did everything correct. And he would put me and the girls on his taxes. He claimed head of household and everything how we're supposed to do. Because that's what we've been told by, by lawyers for years. Do everything right. Do everything how you're supposed to do. And that's going to look good. And eventually they'll let you apply. Eventually something's going to change. So, um, but <laughs> that first stimulus check, guess who didn't get to, guess who doesn't get one? Um, because my husband was undocumented. My husband filed with an I-10 number instead of a social security number. Even though me and the girls have social security numbers, um, even though me and the girls are American citizens, we don't get that check because my husband was undocumented because my husband didn't have a social. So none of us got it. And uh, I'm just, I'm just, 
going on rabbit trails and ranting and just all about, my, I'm all over the place right now. I'm, so, I'm having a really rough day. And I am missing my husband. <laughs> Huh. I'm sorry. This is it's just been a really rough day. Most days. <clears throat> Most days I try not to even think about it because I don't want to cry. But it has been over nine months without my husband. And I, I don't even know if I can go see him right now because the pandemic is making everything so complicated and, um... Now, it's like if you're going to fly internationally, you have to get a negative COVID test within three days before you leave. And then you have to have a negative COVID test within three days of you coming back. And I'm nervous that if I get over there, what if I can't get a negative COVID test within three days of coming back? Like, where do I go? How much is it going to cost? Like, if I had to go pay $300 for, we had to pay $100 just to have something notarized over there. Sorry about that. My mother called. <laughs> and I can't put it on airplane mode because I'm using my little Bluetooth clicky thing and it won't work in airplane mode or I couldn't get it to work anyway um I don't know maybe you know how I am with technology I'm, I suck at it but anyway okay so my point I don't know if I actually had a point um I'm just having a really rough rough few days today's a really bad day um oh the immigrant uh, flying over there to go see him so I'm nervous that I'll get over there like if I try to make a quick you know, two or three day trip because I can't afford to take off a whole week or two. Um, so if I try to go down there with the girls for just a couple of days, what if I can't get, uh, you know, a test down there within and, and it be in time? And uh, I'm just I'm so nervous that something's going to go wrong with it. Um, so for right now, for the time being, I'm not even able to go down and see him and the girls are not. And uh, it's just really rough. Um, so. No matter which side of politics you're on, people think, Republicans think that I'm a Democrat because my husband's undocumented. Democrats think that I'm a Republican because I love Jesus. But I don't, both sides have good points and both sides have bad points. Both sides both sides have hate in different areas and neither side is where I believe Jesus is. Um, one side obviously lines up more with my, most of my beliefs than the other, but it doesn't mean I'm full blown either side. <laughs> um, what people need to realize is that we're real people. We're not just numbers. My husband's a real person. He's not just a number. And we tried to do things right for so long. And even now, we're continuing to do things right. We're not bringing him over here illegally, even though we have could could have. We've had the opportunity. We've had people offer to pay. I mean, in nine months, there's been a couple of different people offer to get him back over here. And we haven't done it because, not because I don't want him here. But because we want to do it the right way. Oh, my thing's falling. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is probably going to be one of my worst videos. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh my goodness. But he is a real person. We are real people. People look at... Sorry, I'm trying to get it to... <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> well, that... Hang on. <laughs> ah, turn it off. All right, let's see if it stays this time. But people look at the people coming across the border. People look at the children down there. People look at, um, you know, how many immigrants here are undocumented. And just people look at numbers. And I, mean, I understand we need to see numbers and see count. But you need to look at them as not just a statistic. But, but look at them as a real person. Are there bad guys in there? Heck yeah, there's bad guys. And, and, and my husband will be the first one to tell you, lock them up. Those bad guys don't need to be out. But... The majority, okay, the majority of immigrants coming over illegally, at least from Mexico, but I'm sure from other countries too, the majority of undocumented immigrants are people like my husband. They are good people. They are family people. 
They are just trying to survive. They're, they're wanting a better life. And I guarantee you that the majority of those good people got told no. That they couldn't even couldn't even come over. They got told the same thing that my husband got told. Hey, there's no point in applying because you don't meet those five pieces of criteria. You don't own your own uh, property or your own home. Uh, you're not in the military or the police. You're, um, you don't have a, uh, what was it called? A sponsor. Like I went over that in another video. There's five part pieces of criteria that you have to meet in, in order to even apply. And my husband didn't meet those. He didn't have a sponsor over here at the time. It was before I met him. Um, you know, <laughs> by the time he was over here and, and I met him, then they wouldn't let me sponsor him. And so it's just a messed up situation. And just if people could have more compassion, we're not saying that what he did was right. It was wrong. It was illegal to come across that border without permission. He knows that. And he'll be the first to tell you, hey, I messed up. But even though it was wrong and even though we're trying to do the right thing now, neither one of us regret his decision to come back. Because if he had not come back, then I never would have met him. And we would not have our beautiful little daughter. We would not have the most amazing family that we have. And I don't, I don't for one second, do I ever regret marrying that man? <sighs> My nails look awful, y'all. I'm sorry. And not planned on doing a video today. I just am having a rough day and thought, well, I'll let y'all know about it. I don't regret. Ah, I can't even say it without crying. I am so passionate and so in love with my husband and I don't regret marrying him and I knew what I was marrying he was honest with me from the get-go and I knew it but I love that man okay. anyway all right um my next video <laughs> the one that I'm actually planning to do um I'm going to tell y'all about what I uh, when a pit bull <laughs> tried to attack me the other day at uh, one of our tenants' houses. Uh, so if you've been following me, you know that I help manage um, rental properties. We got like 67 rental properties that we manage. And uh, there are some crazy stories from some crazy tenants. And uh, I've gotten chased down the driveway by some half-naked dude screaming at me and cussing. And I didn't have my mace or anything. <laughs> I about got attacked by a pit bull the other day and had to call 911. It was it was pretty intense. But uh, anyway, I want to start sharing some of these crazy stories just for the pure purpose of entertainment. And uh, if any of y'all have ever worked in rental property or in real estate or anything like that or worked with tenants, um, then you'll probably enjoy it. <laughs> so anyway, uh, that's about it. There was really no point to this video. I just wanted to share my heart with you guys and just kind of let you know, oh, sorry, I never went back to the update. <laughs> The lawyer, she said, um, basically, she can't tell me yes or no right now. We've got no, 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 no for all these years. And she said, right now, she said, one, I don't understand how they all told you no if they haven't even looked at his immigration records. Uh, because immigration, they'll say one thing and put something else on paper. So she said, it really depends on how they put everything on. Y'all did it again. I don't know what's going on. But anyway... It depends on how they put everything on the paper and what they wrote in his record. If they classified him as deportable or inadmissible, um, that makes a huge difference. And then she also said that it's also going to depend if this immigration, uh, I think it's the immigration reform bill that President Biden has put through, or he's trying to get passed, if it passes or not. So we're waiting on that. We're waiting on his records from immigration, which could take forever because it's the government and <laughs> Ah, the government's slow when they when when it's something we need. <laughs> so um it's a huge process just to try to get excuse me, to get just his records from immigration. Um so oh and uh the lawyer, her husband, is a police officer. And when I told her the story about what happened and and you know how we told them, look, that's not him, you got the wrong guy. My husband's never had a DUI, he's you know, he doesn't have a ticket, he doesn't drive. She said, she said, my husband's a cop. She said, and I know what they can pull up um, when they pull up the warrant. She said, I know what comes on the computer. And the mugshot from that other guy, she said, I guarantee you it came up. And I guarantee you that they knew that wasn't him. 
but they were trying to make the the old angry guy that got mad because we wanted to ask for trash uh <laughs> wanted to make him happy because he apparently has a lot of power in that town or whatever personally i think he's just he's just mad because his mama named him lacy but anyway <laughs> if you're a dude and your name's lacy i'm sorry <laughs> All right, that's it, y'all. Uh, y'all be blessed, and I'm going to try to get better and put some more videos out. Have a good evening, or day, or whatever. It's evening here for me. <laughs> Bye, y'all.